Hey guys, it's Fruity back again with uh, episode 5 of Let's Play Crash The Huge Adventure Blind. Uh, in the last episode, we were doing Frostbite Cavern, which took a fair bit of time. I had to do three visits there. But this time, we're moving on to the fifth and final level of Warp from 1 here. I'm half expecting this level to have a color gem because none of the other levels here so far have had a color gem. And, you know, I'm kind of hoping there's one in the first Warp Room. If there's going to be five color gems and only four warp rooms, then I'd think there'd be one in each and then one warp room with two. But again, I'm a bit hesitant to say whether or not there's five color gems. But let's see what level five is and whether or not it has a color gem. Alright, we're ready for the reveal and... No. Huh. <laughs> Actually kind of surprising. And is this seriously the only level in the warp room with two gems? Huh. Just like Crash 3. And it's the red gem path, just like Crash 3. Okay, I'm done. Just in slime. Oh, I remember that level name. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a sewer level like Crash 2. Alright, well, let's head in then. How many boxes? Whoa, that's a lot of boxes. One, three, four. Good old sewer levels. We've got a remix of the sewer music here. Can I go under there? No. Okay, pretty simple so far. I haven't seen any obstacles. Oh, there's a rat, okay. Whoa, that's an early bonus, jeez. <laughs> Was not expecting that. Okay, 47, that's a lot. I'm liking the background here, looks nice. Yeah, I thought so. Game trying to troll me a bit with that. Ooh, long jump. Oh, there we go. Oops. Oh boy, I want that. Okay. Yeah, again, game trying to trick me, eh? I like the way the camera pans here, it looks nice. It seems as if the uh, bonus music's gonna stay the same for every bonus. Not that I really have a problem with that. Oh boy, that's tricky. I don't think I'll risk it. Let's just blow it up. There we go. Reasonable enough. Oh, okay. I see. Oh boy. Oh, really? I was right at the end. Right at the end. And I died. Great job, me. Okay. Let's do it again. Okay. Alright, it's not that hard though, really. It's just fairly long, this bonus. Okay. Okay, that bit looks a bit different to me, that's why I hesitated. It looked a little bit unfamiliar for some reason. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's do this again. There we go. Let's wait for that to blow up. And there we have it. 47. Sweet. Alright, let's get on with it then. Oh, it's those guys. The little sweeper things from Crash 2. Okay. There's a lot of TNT in this level. Oh. Got to slide under. Checkpoint. Sweet. Oh. Whoa. I wasn't expecting him to go back like that. Alright, there we go. Interesting. Oh. I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. What the? I, th I seriously thought I wasn't gonna make that. Wow, that was definitely a close one. Okay, I'm gonna wait for the life. There we go. Still got a fair bit left, apparently, because there's still a fair few boxes. Oh, now I died. Damn, getting over two nitros like that is certainly tough. But I'm enjoying this level so far, it's a good level. I like the lighting effect here with the, the fan, it's good. Okay, now this again. Oh, really? Damn, man, this game is cool. Okay, two. Eh, eh. Oh, 
I didn't hit him. <laughs> you live for now, rat. <laughs> oh. Okay, that was weird spin timing. I wasn't expecting it to break those boxes. Oh, that was so close. Oh, now you give me an Akuaki. Why don't you? Oh, whoops. How do you get that? I'm hoping the Nitro blows it up when you hit the Nitro nuke, or I'll have to backtrack, which will be kind of annoying. Akuaku. I'm liking the slime down the bottom now. See, it's good to, again, you know, get some variety with the visuals. Well, that didn't actually blow up that many Nitros. I thought there was more Nitros than that. Okay. I'm half tempted to go back now to check if the Nitro blew up that box, but I think I'll just wait to the end. Oh no. Oh! Actually got it. I had to get it, otherwise it would have turned to metal and then I would have been screwed, wouldn't I? There we go. 27 lives. Doing pretty well on lives. Checkpoint. Okay, nearly there. Six more. Yeah, nothing about this level has been too tricky so far, though. Okay, what's the point of these? <laughs> uh, that was kind of random. Oh. Oh, got a high jump. There's a crystal. Please let there be one more box here. Please don't make me go back for that other box. Oh, you dirty game. <laughs> oh, this is going to be annoying. Alright. I'm not sure how you would get the, those boxes, though. Without getting hit by the nitro. Oh, stop crouching. Okay. I hope... I don't think it was too far back. There's a checkpoint. There isn't really any traps in this level by way of, like, pits into the acid or anything. What? Well, it's not acid, sewerage, I guess. It looks like acid. I don't think sewerage is green, to be honest. <laughs> Alright, we should nearly be there. I think it was just before this checkpoint. Yeah, there it is. Alright, that was tedious. Let's go. Gotta get a feel for slide jumping in this game. I haven't done too much of it thus far. The Nitro Nuke was also sort of early. To be honest. In Crash 2, it's sort of not always right at the end of the level. But this game is more trying to emulate Crash 3, I think, which usually has it right at the end. I don't know. This is a level type from Crash 2, so I guess they can do that. <laughs> Away we go. Slide under. And there she is. Is there anything back here? Okay, yeah, a little random area. But anyway, there we go. Oh, and yep, the boss. Well, I... Dingo dial. Can I... I'll take on the time trial here first. 139.40. That's, yeah, long time trial. It shouldn't be a hard one, though, I don't think. Let's see how it goes. Oh, getting stuck on stuff. Hey, come on, crawl under. Oh, the nitros might be tough, actually. Oh, I thought I was going to die again. Damn. Okay. Oh, that one was potentially close. Hey, okay, crawl under. Slide under. Oh, damn tick boxes with that enemy. Blow that up. Oops. That was a bad mistake, wasn't it? Hopefully, I can still make it. Let's go, boys. Uh, oh, yeah. Gotta be good at slide jumping across those, don't you? Oh, I have to crawl again. Oh, that's annoying. There we go, 118.70. What's that? Oh, oh, three seconds off. That's a shame. Oh, well. 
we'll, again, we'll come back to it. So, Dingo Dial. And under, yeah, I remember the boss is underwater. Let's see what it's all about. I really don't know. Let's do it in this part. Okay, oh, he's got a shield. Oh! Stalactites dropping down. Okay, fair enough. So he's got a shield around him. I guess I have to wait. Ah, oh, okay, I see. Ah, alright. Easy enough. Oh! Sharks, I wasn't expecting that. Guess you gotta change things up a bit, don't you? Is he gonna shoot again? What's he doing? Yeah, I think... Well, you might have to lure him to shoot. Yeah, when he's at the sides, maybe. Okay, wait for it. No, not now. Now. Oh, the shield hurts you. Damn it. Okay. Okay, is that going to hit him? Now that, that one will hit him. What? Oh, come on. That was lame. That was really lame. Okay. I've just got to be a little more careful with my timing, that's all. Okay, got Dingo Dial. Now the sharks again, I'm guessing? Yeah, oh! They really come out of nowhere, don't they? He just sort of walks around, it's kind of weird. Okay. Yeah, I think I know what he's gonna do. He's just gonna shoot, like, homing shots. And then after that, he'll do the same thing he did in the first phase. That. Yeah, okay, sharks. Is he getting faster? I feel like he might be getting faster. Whoa! Sharks in the middle of the phase. Okay, almost got it. I think this is it. No? Maybe you have to lure the last shot. I'll have to see. Is this... Yep, this is it. I got him. Okay, wait for it. And now! Yeah! Super body slam. I guess this is the same as in Crash 3. So press R in midair to body slam. This destroys crates and nearby enemies. Okay, fair enough. Let's uh, head back. Oh, we got a cutscene. Meddling marsupial, you got lucky this time. My henchmen won't be so easy on you in the future. Alright, sweet. Ooh, next warp room. Oh, it's engine's warp room. That's uh, interesting. So this is how we travel. Apparently we go up, and the buttons are green. That's the um, fourth warp room in Crash 3. They really are switching around the way the button colors work, aren't they? <laughs> Looks like it's another snow level, snow crash, okay. It's got two gems to it, that's interesting. Two clear gems. I think, does this warp room look slightly different? No, I think they look the same other than the buttons. It's a bit of a shame, I like different Warframe designs. But, anyway, I guess that'll do for this episode. We had a good time in level 5, beat Dingo Dial, it's all good. Um, well then, <laughs> I guess I'll see you guys next time. This is Fruity, signing off.